Hello guys, welcome to Helpful Solutions and let's begin. Of course, after updating your phone or just reinstalling your WhatsApp or anything similar, if you're having a widescreen issue, it's definitely an app problem and definitely not a your phone or your profile problem because that is generally a bug or a glitch. To fix this, the easiest thing I can do is just restart my phone actually. I will just use the right button on my phone and when I see the restart and of course power off screen, I will do restart because that is like I said, the easiest fix I can maybe do. If that doesn't work as well and you, if you are still seeing a white screen on your phone, always check your internet connection because it might be because you are having a general load problem with your WhatsApp and yes, it might be because of your internet. Try switching between mobile data and Wi-Fi or maybe just do vice versa. And as always, after something like this, I will try to go and check if my WhatsApp is updated to the latest version because yes, updating your programs is important and outdated versions may have compatibility issues, which can of course cause display problems. For that, just make sure your WhatsApp is updated and if you are in the beta program, get out of the beta program because beta program might be the one that is causing this issue. If that doesn't do the trick as well, go into your settings, find your apps. From apps, go into app management or whatever your phone has in case of the app management button I have. We will find WhatsApp in the lowest part of the screen right here. And from here, I will go into storage usage. From storage usage, I will clear my cache as you can see right here. You need to use this button to clear your cache and make sure your phone is like seeing WhatsApp as a new app. Also, I will do a force stop to make sure that my app is actually fully closed and opening like a new app. If that doesn't do the trick as well as any phone app could go, just uninstall your WhatsApp from here and then just reinstall it to actually see what it can do and actually make sure you have a new fresh install. Other than that, that was basically it. We hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, don't forget to give us a like and maybe subscribe to our channel, Savvy Professor. In any other case, we hope to see you in the next video as well. Have a great day and goodbye.